Hey guys, welcome to DJM Media. Today we're going to be looking at tips to get started with live streaming. So check it out. Hey, before we start this video, on this channel we're going to be doing tech reviews and tips and tricks for starting with live streams and video. So if that's the stuff you kind of like, you should probably hit that subscribe button. So now, let's get into the video. So to start off, we're going to be talking about tips and tricks for getting you into live streaming and making them look good. So something I see pretty often is people who have like uh, senior concerts, recitals, or just want to live stream events to friends, they'll often use a mobile phone, which is a great tool. Everyone has one and it's an easy way to broadcast your live events to your friends. But there's something that really bugs me every single time I watch one of these live streams and that they always hold their phone this way vertical like this, which is not how to do it. What happens is that it gives you a 9 by 16 aspect ratio, which is very distracting visually and hard to, just hard for our brains to comprehend it. What I always recommend is that you hold your phone landscape mode, not portrait, landscape, like this. Your phone should be horizontal. What this does is that it gives a more common 16 by 9 aspect ratio, which everyone is used to seeing, like on YouTube, or any other video streaming platform. If you watch the news on TV, you're watching a 16 by 9 aspect ratio. 16 by 9 is just the most common way to do it these days, and if you're holding your phone like up like this, so it's 9 by 16, people are going to have a hard time watching it, unless you're on a mobile phone, but a lot of people watch videos on their computers or tablets or something like that, and so they want to see a nice professional 16 by 9 aspect ratio. Moving on to tip number two. A good thing to do is to always use some sort of stabilizer for whatever you're using to capture the footage, whether it be a phone or a camcorder. A common way to do this is just to purchase a tripod. They're pretty darn cheap, and you don't look weird walking around with a tripod. People do it all the time. You can get them for pretty darn cheap on Amazon, like like 15 bucks or something. I'm actually using a tripod right now for my camera in front of me and also for my light to the side of me. So tripods are are extremely useful and they can be cheap and affordable. So you should try investing in one of those. Now, if you don't want to get a tripod, you can get a monopod, but that only has one leg, so you always have to be standing behind it to get good stabilization. Another option is to get one of those little snake tripods where the legs are actually bendy. With those, you can wrap them around things like poles and create a mount for a smartphone or a GoPro or camera pretty much anywhere. They're extremely easy to use and super, super convenient. And they're very small. They're only about this big. So don't worry about them taking up a lot of space. My third tip is to know what the network connection is like at your location. Something that people do all the time is broadcast through Facebook Live. And what I always like to do is make sure I know what the Wi-Fi situation is like before I get to the place. Because what can often happen is that there will either be no free accessible Wi-Fi or your cell signal will not be able to reach your cell phone in the venue that you're at. So always know what the network situation is in advance. You never want to start a live stream and then have it cut out intermittently because there isn't enough bandwidth for that video. So that about wraps up this video. I hope you guys enjoy these three simple tricks to make your live streams more successful. If you want to see more, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Hitting that subscribe button is what makes this channel successful. And if you do that, I'll be sure to come out with more content. Things like camera reviews, microphones, just general video production equipment and audio, lighting, things like lights, which are useful for video, because if you don't have lights on you, then you really can't see what's going on. So be sure to do that if you want to see more content like this. But right now, that's all I got for you guys today. And I hope you guys have an awesome day. And I will see you guys in the next video.